Now we're ready to make a web page. So I hope you're excited, especially if you haven't done this before because this is a breakthrough for you. Remember that folder that said my website? Well now we're going to put some web pages into there. So what you do is after you've installed Mozilla, let me just bring it over so you can see it. You should have something that looks like this on your desktop. I want you to double click on that and when that pops up you are going to see a, a internet browser that appears right before your eyes and let me just make this bigger for you now it has a different home page for me but you might be at the Mozilla home page if you haven't changed the home page and we want to make a web page so what we do is we go up to file I just want to make sure you can see this totally go to file and go to new now we want to go to a new composer page and when we open that we get a screen that looks like this and you see it's very much like a word processor where the blinking cursor you can type in some text so I'm gonna call this web let's say my first web page okay and before we do any kind of formatting we just want to save this as a page so that now we have a web page so we go to file and we go to save as and it says please enter a title for the current page and we call this my first web page you can call it whatever you like. I'm just doing this as an example. And now it asks you where you want to save it. So make sure that you select desktop. And so here it says save in. Make sure you save it. I have the folder in the desktop. So desktop. And then where's my folder? I have to look for the folder called my website. There it is. Double click on that. And I want to save it in that folder. I don't want to go inside the images folder. I just want to have everything look like this in the my website folders where we're saving it right inside there so let me save it and let's go into our website folder and see it in there okay now it's called my first web page now whenever you have a folder and this is just a little little tip here in a folder the website browser automatically knows to go to a file called index uh, by default so you always want to make the main page in the folder called index so if somebody were to go to your website and they were just to type in the website.com it's gonna to know to go to the index file so for now uh, just get into the habit of creating the main file in that folder as the index file and then you're gonna have other files uh, web pages that are linked to from within that index file so the index file looks like every other web page but it's the main web page that people are going to go to when they access your website so let's click on it and see what it looks like as a web page now you're going to see something very similar to what we were doing when we edited it when we created it but now look there's no blinking cursor I can't edit this the tools aren't up here and that's because this is the web page and when you're on websites you can't edit the content it's just however it's been created is how you can view it so you saw that I typed in my first web page and it looks pretty much the same as when I was typing it it just doesn't allow me to edit it now let's look at our notes and we've created the page and we've saved the page now the address of the page is also important remember I called this let me look back in the folder. This is called index. Now I also told you that the suffixes of these files are called .html and you can see right here in this little box that it says type HTML document. I try to move my cursor. It's going to be right about there and when I highlight it it says type HTML document. So at the end of this index we're going to look for index.html. It's just not displaying that right now so if we go up to this address bar it's saying here's the part let me highlight it with the cursor that's the part that shows the address index.html now where is that 
index file? Well, it's in a folder called my website and there's the name of the folder, my website. Now, where is that folder? Well, that's on the desktop and that's on the C drive, the hard drive of my computer. Later, I'm going to show you how to upload this website to the internet and then what you would see instead of all this, you would see like www.rapidforex.com forward slash index.html. But this index.html is always going to be there. And if I created another page called, you know, forex.html, uh, then this would be rapidforex.com forward slash forex.html. Now, let's go look at an example at rapidforex.com just so you can see what actual addresses look like. So, if I go find a page, let's go to Forex Classics, and as you can see, here's the address. You've got the HTTP colon slash slash www.rapidforex, but that page is called classics.shtml. Now remember I told you that there were three different file endings, HTML, HTM, or SHTML. This one is an SHTML, but it, it could very well look like an HTML. And here's the file name, classics.shtml. So on my computer, normally when this file is sitting on my computer, it's going to have all that C, my, do, my desktop, you know, desktop, my web, you know, rapid forex website, blah, blah, blah. And the ending is going to be classics.shtml. So once you upload it to the internet, I'm going to show you in the uh, future videos uh, how that comes into play. But it's important for now just to understand that the file name is part of the address. So it's important. You got to name each web page something different. So when you're creating these pages, one page is the index, but I could copy that. Let me show you how I did that. I used the keyboard shortcut. If you do control and C at the same time, it copies, and then control and V at the same time, it pastes. But you can also right click and hit copy. And the computer's just being a tad bit slow. And then I right click somewhere else and I want to hit paste and it makes a copy of that file index. Now I could call that file index2 and now I've got two different web pages in my website. Now if somebody came to my website they're gonna land on this page and there's no way to get to the other page so you know in in a few minutes I'm gonna show you how to put a link it's called a hyperlink where you can click you know somewhere maybe you could turn my first web page into a clickable link and you could click on it and you could go to the second page which we called index2 but up here notice how this is called index.html well I can type in index2.html and I can select go and it's going to go to index2 remember that's a copy so it looks the same now what if I typed in index3 you're going to see what happens says Windows cannot find that file. Well, the reason Windows cannot find it is because it doesn't exist because look in the folder. There's no index 3. So there you have it. This is now a bona fide website. This folder has web pages in it. We don't have any images yet, but that is coming very soon. So it's important. Now we've got web pages, and I'm going to show you in the next few videos how to make those web pages, uh, the basic design principles that you need to create web pages like the ones you see online.